Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another episode today. Today, man, we have a very special episode. We talk about a lot of crazy things, drop a lot of game. Uh, let them know why, Dan. So, look, man, today we got Lupita. Uh, she's been killing it in the game for a very long time now, and uh, she's going to tell you exactly why she does what she does, why she keeps on working so hard, and we also cover some crazy DM stories, and uh, it's, it was a lot. It was a really fun episode. Uh, we really got to know Lupita, and uh, you're definitely going to get to know her if you've only seen her post and uh, you don't know her like on a personal level. I think this episode, um, you're going to learn a lot about her, so it's gonna, it's, it was a good one. What do, you, what do you think? Should they tune in? Yes, <laughs> I feel like you guys definitely should. Um, I definitely talked about some things I've never talked about. Um, so yeah, exclusive. Exclusive. We yes. got the Lupita Sarah a exclusive. He even teach you guys how to slide in them DMs too. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! I forgot about. Make that. sure you guys watch wow, this, and yeah. it gets sentimental. We we cover everything in this. Trust me, you guys aren't gonna want to miss this one. We're back with another banger. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Always Is Podcast. Today, man, we got a very special guest today. Uh, this one's like. Really, like, un unlike anything we've ever done before, uh, for a very specific reason. Tell them why, Dan. Look, so today we're sitting here with Lupita, a.k.a. the biggest influencer in the Valley. Uh, and um, I think beyond the Valley now, you're getting really, really big now. Um, I, you know you know what's funny? Quick backstory. People are like, hey, we get, who are you guys going to have on next? And I was telling them who you were. And everybody already knew you. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So, shout out Lupita. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me. We're excited. This was a big part. We actually like prepped for this. We had like a meeting before. We we're super excited, uh, especially because you're from the Valley, right? So did, yes. did you always grow up here in, in, in Reedley or? No, I actually, I was born in Mexico and then I came here when I was six years old. Jeez. Wow. What part of Mexico? Michoacan, Morelia. Nice. Dang, there you go. Is that yeah. where you're from, Dan, or where? Nah, we're from Guadalajara, baby. Okay. Shout out my Jali <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. I had the same thing. I came here when I was 12, so a little bit older. Oh, okay. But I was born over there, grew up over there, so, I mean, I got to live, like, the it's rancho lifestyle. It's a scene over there, huh? It's way different, yeah. I know. It's way different. <laughs> the, what do you like better? You like better here or over there? To live here, but to, like, party. visit and party over yeah. there. Life is just easier over there. It's so much better. The freedom, like, it's just amazing. I feel like it's pretty mellow. There's, like, no, like, I feel like it's, there's no rush. I feel like here in the U.S., there's always, like, that. I don't no, know. Literally. You know always moving, Here's you know? just work, 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 yeah. work. That's it. <laughs> I want I want to get into like real quick how you got into like the whole being the influencer. Like how how long have you been how long have you been doing social media game for? It's crazy because I've been on social media for ever, like Facebook days. Mm -hmm. I would post all the time, you know, statuses, T B H, like for a T B H. I remember those days. I would post myself. <laughs> That's probably back in middle school. Huh? Yeah. Yes. I would even do videos like for people, like like for a T B to be honest, a video. So, like, I was always out posting myself, uh -huh. my family. Like, I just always done it. Uh -huh. And then um, I got into Instagram, obviously, and then I posted Instagram. And then I feel like opportunities just started to come. I remember, I remember the Facebook days. Mm -hmm. I don't Bro, remember those. I yeah. remember... <laughs> I'm so old. I remember the MySpace days, guys. Like it's I, a I throwback. Wasn't yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember those days. But so you were already actively doing this before, like it was a thing to do, basically. Yeah. Huh? Yes, I was really into YouTube videos. Like I would watch a lot of um, makeup gurus back then. Back mm. then, YouTube, like a lot of girls would do makeup, and I, I would do videos like for myself. I would never post them just for myself. And yeah, I would always just do them. So you were getting that practice in early then. Yeah, no one would. No, but you know, it was just so you feel for like myself. It was, do you feel like it was easier to transition over since you were already practicing that at like such a yeah. young age? Yeah. How did you get started on Instagram though? So on Facebook, um, did you already have a big following on Facebook? Like, cause you were doing, cause I feel like that was a thing back then. You know, the like for a TBH, send them a little video. Those were hot. Yeah, yeah that got yeah. people popping. I would, I would get a decent likes. I feel like I, um, just the people that I knew, you know, or mm -hmm. knew me. Like I would, I already had like my the people that would watch me. Mm -hmm. And then I went on to Instagram, and then the same. I would just post myself, and I played volleyball. So mm -hmm. I would post myself um, at my games or, you know, anything. And people liked it. Like, mm -hmm. people liked watching me. I don't know. And I, That's pretty um, cool. I grew an audience. And I feel like back then, too, there wasn't um – like being an influencer wasn't quite a thing, you know. Especially, no, like I didn't even know you could make money off of uh, like posting. Oh, well, when did you when did you realize like you were really big? Like when did you get really did you get big on face or Instagram while you were in high school? I blew up on Twitter with the picture that I posted um, when I became a citizen, and oh, it went shit. viral. And I started getting following off of there. That's oh. the real clout. Twitter, I feel is like the real clout. If you're popping on Twitter, bro. That's like Donald Trump level shit. You know what I mean, like you that's popping popping. Twitter's where it's at. Yeah, Twitter is a sleep. I yeah, sleep it was Twitter. it was crazy because I didn't think anything of it. You know, mm -hmm. I was just posting my accomplishment and there was obviously like 
bad comments and good comments so mm. you know well congrats on being a citizen first of all that's thank pretty you, cool yeah you, i know you. that's a big process so yeah oh, it i'm is. still working on mine so well, hopefully it'll we'll come get there one day we'll we'll get yeah. one day <laughs> 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 um so uh, that's cool so twitter blew up and then from twitter do you see a lot of people started kind of going back to your instagram or like how did that, yes, how did that i happen? started getting following and then um when I was when I when that happened, I made a YouTube channel. Mm. So I would post videos with my mom, and I remember this one a specific with your mom? video. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This one a specific video blew up of me and my mom, mm. and from there too, I grew mm. an audience. So it's like everything was the process. Like I grew with time. But it's pretty organic too, though, right? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes sense. What platform do you prefer over like one another? Because like you said, you're on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Which one do you prefer? And why? Right now, Instagram. Instagram? I feel really? like Instagram is my biggest um, audience, where mm-hmm. I have my biggest audience, just because I do get a lot of branding deals, and, you know, like, most of my followers went there. That's true. Okay. Um, I had my YouTube channel, but I didn't continue it, just because I feel like it was too much, like, you know, editing. Plate. Like, yeah. I was just like, I don't know, I was it was a lot, like, on my plate. So I focused more on Instagram and to this day instagram is like my biggest definitely paid off for you though in the long run yeah thankfully yeah Yeah. did you ever mean to like become like an influencer or did it just happen naturally no like 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 i told you like i didn't even know you can make money off of it Uh. um i did have a friend that um she told me she's like you should start like promoting like clothes Mm -hmm. and then and then like i would just buy clothes like forever 21 or wherever and Mm. then i would post myself and just tag those brands and um, small businesses started to reach out in the beginning I wouldn't charge uh-huh. like because I didn't even know you know but um, I feel like that helped me get to where I'm at now like yeah. definitely working with small businesses and posting every day like I'm telling you I would post every day how, every, how many, every, how many every times a day, day were you posting probably even like twice a day really and I feel like back then that was kind of like that was a lot but I mean you grew off of it mm-hmm. so was that yeah. on Instagram or was that on TikTok Instagram oh wow I didn't start TikTok till like 2019 Oh, you were still pretty old. You that is, yeah, it's early on, TikTok, yeah. That's yeah, new, new, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was on TikTok when, like, it first started. When did you realize you are like, holy shit, I'm, a, I'm an actual influencer? Like, was it when you started getting the free clothes, the free, like, the promo deals, or? No, I feel like recently, to be honest. Really? Like, sometimes I don't even feel like that until, like, when people tell me, like, oh, like, what made you be an influencer? And I'm like, oh, my God, like, people think you're <laughs> an influencer? Like, you know? Because I'm just from a small town yeah. girl, you know, like, I never knew, you know? But some of the younger kids like like they want to be an influencer as a career you know that's like a thing now but i feel like when we were growing up that wasn't like a fucking thing you know we're outside playing and shit these yeah. kids are like yeah. seven eight trying to do it like, now you see like kids on the side that's of the road crazy. doing like tiktoks and like for real everyone's posting different stuff youtube's pretty big everyone's trying to get in youtube influencers mm-hmm. in the wild there's a whole there's a whole, <laughs> yeah. there's a whole thing about that <laughs> what was your first brand you worked with uh, what when was you the first, first one getting yeah first one my first first brand that i um we got collabed out. with was actually with um Laura's Boutique and mm. I was 19 years old and I remember I was so so happy I literally cried <laughs> and that was the first time I actually got paid too like I was 19 I think they paid me like I think it was $300 damn that's kind of like Dude, with 300 at 19 is like yeah and I was 19 and I was yeah. like I'm like ooh, damn that, like did the light bulb go on you're like oh shit I can like really milk this now and yeah. I can start doing this in different ways yeah definitely so do you mm. think online versus real life is there like a difference because like you said before like i don't really feel like an influencer so like in real life do you still have that feeling or is it just online or how does that feel when people recognize me in person that's when i actually feel now like Mm. like you know okay like because now you get to see the support like Mm. oh shit like people really be watching you know Mm -hmm. in real life yeah it's like that confirmation (laughs) like holy shit like i see the numbers but translating to real life is completely different exactly Mm-hmm. So you get like random strangers just coming up to you like, oh, hey, how you doing? Like, yes and no. Really? I feel like sometimes they don't want like they they see me, but they're too like starstruck shy, a little bit. Kind of. But they recognize you. Like, you they can tell people me. recognize you when you go out. You can feel when someone stares at you, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, I get that a lot. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, and I'm like, I think they recognize me, but they never. Some yeah. some of some of them don't come up. You have pic- people coming up to you like, hey, can I get a picture with you? Yeah. Is that really? How yeah. was that the first time? Like when someone asked to take a picture with you? Uh, I can't remember the first time. Like but it went through your head though, like, because that, that's huge. Like, I was like, oh, like, yeah. that's so nice. Like, I love it. You know, I actually really, really like that. And when people tell me, like, oh, like, I saw you, but I was too afraid to go up to you. Like, no, don't be afraid. Like, I love that, you know, that, that motivates me even more to, you know, keep going. 
I want to uh, ask you about something because I know you said that your mom used to do YouTube videos with you. Yes. Uh, and I feel like, I mean, I, I grew up like in a super Mexican household. So like my parents even now, like, well, my mom, they're like, they don't really even get the influencer thing. They don't really get the social media thing. But it sounds like your mom, I mean, does she like, when when did she realize like, like, hey, my mija, like she's fucking making money off of this shit. When she started seeing all of those packages at the store. Yeah. <laughs> Non-stop, huh? <laughs> yeah. Coming. No, yeah, my mom, I love my mom. She's always been so supportive since the beginning she actually takes most of my pictures on instagram oh she's a photographer yes yeah. yes <laughs> Dang. She, knows, she knows all my angles <laughs> and yeah my dad was the one who was kind of like like eso no te trae nada bueno ¿Qué vas more a traditional con eso? yes yeah. like he didn't get it in the beginning you know but yeah they i feel like with time they started seeing like okay this is what she likes this is what she loves like we're gonna support her and they've always supported me that's so cool how, how was that with your dad at first because like uh, I, don't, I mean i don't know how mexican dads can be like was he pretty stern like don't do it anymore or was he like i don't like you doing it but i'm gonna let you do your thing he never told me not to do it anymore Whoa. um he he was strict on like um me going out to la mm. i feel like i barely started going more out there because i mean i'm a girl i'm the only girl like i have three older brothers and of course he's going to be overprotective yeah. of me you know and i understand that but um it came to a point where i was like he seen that you know it was it was getting really good mm -hmm. and he's yeah he supported me yeah i can only imagine as a dad like your daughter's living and she's like making thousands yeah. of dollars and just the bags are coming in you're like my, dad is, a, going on? my dad's a little <laughs> more conservative uh-huh but now I feel like now he's the one on TikTok. Now he's the one telling me, go on live, do this. Oh, make shit. Sure, huh? Yes. Yeah. So your yes. parents are very like into it with you, right? Yes, my mom, my mom. More like a mom. momager. Is that, how, is that how they say it? The no, momager? No, literally. Momager? Literally. Sometimes, She's like a, yes. what, what's her name? Chris. Chris. It's like Chris, that dancer. Chris Jenner. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I even Chris ask her, like, mom, like, how much should I charge? Or, you know, like, she's literally my my mom. That's mom so manager. cool. I know. It's dope yeah. that she's a part of it like that. Yeah. I feel like it helps a lot more, too, when you have that support and they're a part of it, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Especially if she's in those angles, too. She knows what she's doing a little bit. Oh, yeah. Shout out it's to moms. It's all about the angles, girls. Shout out to the moms, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> One of the questions, too, is, like, if someone's watching at home and they want to be an influencer, they, they're getting into it, maybe, they, maybe they're kind of on the road to doing that. Um, how do they know how much to charge and how do they know how to not charge you know what i mean i feel like me myself i'm still learning on that um i would definitely you know ask people that have worked with that brand already like oh like how much did you charge or you know just ask people if not like i would um try to negotiate with the brand because i know sometimes businesses have their own like um how do you say it their own like budgets yes their own mm -hmm. budget so you want you eventually want a long term relationship with these brands. So you know I I um I try to work with the brands. Too. Have you ever gotten any off the wall offers like brands wanted to come at you and like the offer is just a super low ball offer like a crazy offer? Yeah, I have. How do you respond to that? Is it just like automatic no, or you try to like negotiate a little bit? Yeah, I try to negotiate a little bit, you know. And obviously, I only know so much, so I try to ask for advice too, or. If they say no, I just don't work with them at all. <laughs> mm. That's too low for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn it away right away. Yes. Well, so right now, are, are you able to, like right now, you don't have to say a number, but right now, do you can you make a living like just off of your brand deals right now? Yes. And yeah, I feel like, yeah. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. uh, when, at what point did that did that start to happen where you were like, damn, like, okay, and I'm, I'm making money. Like I'm charging, doing deals and stuff like that. But like now I can, realistically, I can make a living like through this last year and in the beginning of this year i feel like the beginning of this year definitely like i learned so much in the beginning of this year like because i went out um to la more you know i met people and i asked like advice for like two content creators like me you know like oh do you how much do you charge mm -hmm. and stuff like you know? the business part of it yes yeah. so so you feel like do you feel like going to LA has been like really beneficial for your for for everything for your business? Oh yeah, because everything is in LA. Everything yeah. you know, we live here in the Central Valley. Like there's there's nothing. nothing. Yeah. There's uh, nothing. Yeah. And everything is over there. What I do, it's over there. So definitely getting out there has helped me a lot. Do you get like a lot of shoots out there too, or like how does that work out there? Yes, shoots. That's I think that was the first time I went to LA for a photo shoot. And I think that a lot of people don't know like the actual work, like how hard it is to, to keep up like on social media. And sometimes I feel like people looking from the outside in, they're like, I mean, I can fucking do that. Oh, that's easy. I mean, all she does is post. Oh, no. Well, no. What, what is, uh, share some of the work that goes into like setting up the photo shoots, posting. 
What what does that look like for you? Like, what does work? What does a day to day work day look like for you? I feel like a lot of people do think that you know, like, oh, well, all you have to do is just post a picture and that's it. Like, yeah. no, there's a lot behind it. Like, you have to choose a good location. You have to have good lighting. You have to get ready. You have to um, edit. And then not only that, like, I remember back then I had a job, so you know, I had a life. Like, not just go to work, clock yeah. in real quick. Yes, <laughs> and I was going to college, so like. It was a lot, but um, I would get it done. Now it's a lot easier because it's my full-time job now. But there's still a lot of, like, you know, work, like, editing and mm. and all of that. So, yeah, it, it can get a little overwhelming sometimes, mm. too. No, that <laughs> is hard work because that's not easy at all. It's that's, like, not, hard work doing all of that. It's hours, like, uh, hours, mm -hmm. hours of editing. How many times are you posting right now? What's your posting schedule look like? Right now, I, I'm working with Fashion Nova, and I work with this gym brand. Right now, those are like my the big deals right now. The ones that are like yeah that I'm working with right now. Um, so I only post I post once once a week mm. for them. So it's not bad at all. You just gotta post one on one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you still keep up with like just your own personal content or do you just yes, only post I do. theirs? Like whenever I go to events and they have like TikTok too. I do TikTok every day. I try to I try to do TikTok lives every day. Um, I'm getting like more into TikTok mm. as well. Mm -hmm. I saw what well, we did some research. You went to like the Forza Regida like party, or was it like a launch event? What was the, that? Yeah, it was their tour, the tour event. Uh, how do, how do, how do you get invited to that stuff? Like, do you see that somebody shoot you a DM, somebody shoot you a letter? How does that how does that happen? Yeah, actually, the the tour coordinator, she, I met her at a dinner. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's in good LA? to yeah, it's good uh, to yeah. go and network. And I met her in LA. She DM'd me and my friend. Hey, you know, I have this event coming up. Um, do you um, you're invited? You know, she's like, I'll send you the det the details through email. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Thank you so much, you know. And I go on my email, and then I see everything. And then I see that it's a yacht on a yacht. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I've never been on a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then I'm thinking, like, what am I going to wear? And then they did um, ask us to do a TikTok, a reel. So, I got paid to, you know, to. Oh, shit. So, you got paid to go out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I shit. I got paid to obviously do content for them yeah and obviously they use that they used a lot of influencers to promote their their tour date so that was smart of them you know using oh, that, a that, lot that of influencers pretty, that was pretty and smart. stuff to that was really smart to announce their tour that's so cool so uh, did you already know it was gonna be forza regida up front or did you know that once you got the email yes i knew it was gonna be yeah. forza regida. Who, who was there like who, who's all there like because i've seen i seen from a lot of different people uh, a lot of like the latino influencers i've seen a lot of them my whole for you page was there yeah yeah <laughs> a lot of a lot of <laughs> all of them <laughs> all of them yeah it was it was amazing you know seeing all the content cre content creators you know um i met a lot of new people everyone was so nice too i feel like the mexican culture is kind of becoming like the cool thing to do you know yes. it's kind of becoming cool H have you has that affected like the way you create content because i feel like back in the day especially here in the states uh it wasn't like necessarily like cool to like kind of show like your mexican I side know, you know it what would I mean? be embarrassing back then Loki. It, you know it's funny because uh, I, every time i talk to people they're like uh, i tell them i hey, do it's crazy because I, I feel like back in the day it was kind of like you hid that you hid that part of your life you know what i mean no seriously i i was a person I'm, yeah dude I'm, like back then bro if you fucking why? posted you were watching like a banda in the fucking backyard like with your family because like, people would just bully you be mean they, they would be like paisa or you know they were real yes yeah. out here Yes. yes, bro. It, 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 used <laughs> to not, it used to not be cool to what fucking like now here, bro. What does that mean? That's just crazy to me. I feel like we have a lot of like Latino culture out here, like to the point <laughs> now, where yeah. it wouldn't be a negative thing to embrace your culture. <laughs> Dude, no, back then, bro. Like when it I was, was in high school, bro. Yeah. Fuck, I never flexed like any of them. Like, like if I listened to like, bro, I can not blast banda on the fucking street because people look at you like, you fucking being go back to Mexico type of shit. That yeah. Seriously, yeah, that's bro. what I would back get told it was, too. It was weird, bro. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. So it's kind of cool to see like Puzzle Blue and all those guys kind of blow up and make it big because they kind of made it like. I don't want to say fucking mainstream, but, but like it kind of cool. was mainstream. You know, I made it cool. Like you want to. Yeah, I feel like now team. it's yeah. a trend now. You yeah. Know? Now people are like, oh, I now I want to wear the boots. Now I want to wear the. Tejana. So on the flip side, though, the do you guys not like on? the bandwagoners? Yeah. Be real. Do you not like the bandwagoners that weren't doing this shit a few years ago? Or how do you guys feel about it? I, I would say I don't know. For me, I, like all the people, even like some people, like uh, like you see on TikTok, you see the memes like, oh, I don't listen, I don't know Spanish, but I listen to fucking Peso Pluma or you know whoever. That's me now. Thanks. I'm oh, stuck on this beat, bro. <laughs> thanks. And, like I don't and mind that's that. That's okay. That's okay. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Got my hips moving a certain way. I ain't never yeah, moved it, like this it, before. It, it, just, it gets the culture out there, so I think it's really cool because now I feel like a, a lot of people they're like now you can be proud to be where you're from. You know, you don't have yes. to like hide it or hide a part of yourself. You know, because yeah, I feel like and our, our culture is beautiful. Like mm -hmm. you know, I feel like 
our the food the people humble people hard working people you know like i it's cool i love yeah. to see it yeah that's so cool I, i've noticed that. i just want to know because i feel like in the in the content you because you're creating content so i was like man i, I bet you you know, you definitely noticed the difference you know because i feel like back then yes. a couple of years ago you posted a you know a, a tiktok or like a clip of you like singing or dancing to a corrida i probably wasn't gonna perform too well you know what i mean but i feel like now that's like you put a press puma fucking clip on that bitch you're, you're Pile. 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 <laughs> you see everyone doing i feel like that's like the mo- number one training song right now right yeah, yeah. Sure. that's true yeah. i just saw you do it, anthony no play. Yeah. well wait, what's, that, what's that soundtrack down how do you how do you do the sound effect again ah oh, shit there get ready the <laughs> peso pluma there we go. <laughs> he sounds uh, so good wow well, listen I, I sing that song like two three times a fucking day were there any influencers <laughs> that were like excited to meet you in person do you get that from other influencers like in your industry? Definitely like um I feel like I've been following like s- other creators like me that kind of grew mm-hmm. together like in social media and then seeing each other at like that event like it's like kind of like so cool you know like, like oh my god it. we've been following each other for so long and we finally see each other in person. On so a yacht. Like, on a yacht. On a yacht. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. Yeah, so it's I it's honestly like a happy feeling for sure so i feel like we talked a lot about a lot of positive things right okay um do you ever get like negative comments on social media and then if you do how do you handle that i do i do get hate comments you know um in the beginning um in the beginning when i would get hate comments i didn't know how to react you know because i i didn't even know that side of social media but um at the end of the day like if you really think about it it's just um fake accounts or just people that are not happy with themselves at the end of the day you know and they feel like they try to bring you down because they're not happy with themselves and um i try to i try not to entertain it so much because at the end of the day like that's my time too you know but and that's what they want they want you to respond yeah i mean they go out of their way to like negatively yes, comment on it so they it, exactly. it affects their day so much they're going out of their way just like oh whatever it is they say about you or whatever you know what I mean so it's like yeah. you're and living rent free in their mind so and it's like I try not to give them the time of the day but um, sometimes I'm not gonna lie like sometimes it does get to you you know cause I'm human you know I have feelings too and sometimes you just think like damn like do people really think about like about me like that but if you see like it's more good comments than bad comments um, and also too so you got invited to events and stuff but you've also done music videos right yes H- how many music videos have you been in um, from the top of my head I feel like I've done damn that many uh, like seven? Oh yeah that's like, that's kind of a lot seven that's or six a lot, yeah. what has been your role in some of them because I think one of them though you're like the one of the main persons now one of the main actors or actresses yes um, I feel like music videos are a little bit more harder more because you have to act like mm. you know and then it's like take over take over take so it takes more time it's a little bit harder a little more intimidating too but the big um, camera the big lights yes yeah. oh my god yes it gets scary but i i love it i feel like you know um i've always loved the camera so after doing my first music video for like for example puntos besos was my first music mm. video and after seeing it like it just made like it, um made me more confident you know and it made me want to do even more because um after seeing myself obviously i was yeah. like okay i look good <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool well, there you go if you're looking for somebody to be in your music video we got lupita right here she's taking inquiries uh, yes. emails in the bio <laughs> yes <laughs> has there been a favorite one so obviously you have seven of them, but w- which one has been your favorite one i feel like my favorite one is always going to be con tus besos just because i grew with that video like i'm not gonna lie like that video made me grow a lot um, a lot of people started following me from that video and recognizing me like people are like oh you're that girl from Con Tus Besos like oh, that's, that's, that's how cool. <laughs> that's yeah. how they know me is that the one that was is that the one when I was on the bowling alley yes yeah. it was actually here in Dainuba it was a big show. one that was like a really big one right yes that was yeah. that was that that song was viral on TikTok like oh, that's shit. what that's what I blew up that one. yeah yeah that's Damn. what made them blow up and that's even cool yeah. though too because yeah. I feel like it's like instant gratification where you see like the results right away you know what i mean yes that's super cool mm-hmm. sheesh 170 million jesus Damn. Christ. yeah i think that's, that's one of their most viewed music video that means you I got think. 170 million views that, period that's, pretty, that's fucking crazy that's, period. Like that's insane <laughs> as fuck yeah. i know think about her following versus that that's crazy yeah that's crazy yeah that's so cool and uh, obviously you got bigger and social media 
I want to talk about something like I, I don't know because I don't know. I'm not an influencer. I'm, I'm not a chick, obviously. But do you ever get like weird DMs from guys? Oh my god, yes. How how do, how do you deal with that? I don't reply. <laughs> What's some Never. of the craziest DMs that you've had? I get a lot of dirty like DMs. Really? Yes, and it's like from senores. Really? Yeah. Damn, so your deal was out there being a fucking weirdo. It's probably you? your yeah. deal. <laughs> you said your deal yeah. Gotta tell them to chill. <laughs> Seriously, with their wives on their profile picture, y todo. Dude, that's, that's, that's pretty crazy because I feel like that's something that kind of gets overlooked. I, I, I'm betting, I'm willing to bet. But, I mean, that happens, you know? Ha, mm-hmm. Have you ever had anybody ask you, like, have you ever got somebody that, like, kinda, it looks like a business inquiry at first, but then they ask you for, like, some weird stuff? Like, I know, like, the feet thing is a big, he's a feet guy. I'm not what a feet guy, I? but. I'm um, an ankle guy, that, bro. <laughs> that's not even to the feet yet, first but of all. But has that ever happened to you where, like, you get somebody, like, like hey, I'm willing to pay you? Because I've heard some stories, you know. Oh, like, yeah, all the time. Pop. I do all the time. Not even, like, feet, like, underwear and like, really? tights. And, what the fuck? Like, use tights. I'm like, what? Like, people actually do that. We were actually talking about it with really? my brother he was like yeah like people it's a thing like you know? running like, those joggers and then do that i didn't know that the fucking sweaty you shit was a was a thing. yeah I, I heard the feet the feet thing i've heard the feet thing you know, bro, we know you're on feet finders bro i found your account <laughs> you post steady on there you're talking too. a lot about feet dad like, you'd be surprised like <laughs> have you ever have you ever got cashed out on one of those deals no <laughs> no you never done it no, is there like uh, a price tag though like if someone offered you like a bag like 50, 50k 20k I no no. You have that number ready in your head it would be like 700 or 500 dollars for just like some clothes like feet pics or anything damn that's insane Dude, if I, was, I don't know if i was a chick bro, if someone offered you 10k wrong. i might I fucking think, sell out i mean they're never gonna see like my face i think 10k is like bro, yeah, you pull that off. i'd pull it online i wouldn't even give my feet honestly huh, look up on some Google? random person Toast. make sure <laughs> the skin tone's kind of similar <laughs> <laughs> damn yeah because if i was a girl i'd be real with you i'm selling fucking feet pics bro danny's really active on feet finders i just want you guys to know that that's just so you guys know it, bro. I've been <laughs> that's why he's <laughs> mentioned it he's on bro you're the one who knew the site i don't even know the fucking site. hey listen how do you think i found you <laughs> <laughs> i had to do my research <laughs> uh, on the topic of dms what about any like famous dms have you had any big people that dm'd you um yeah yes. that are big yeah can you name drop any um no i don't think so we, like can, always, <laughs> we can always blank it out though we can always blank it out yeah we'll, we'll blank it out <laughs> Who's dolphin so sounds and shit? You're not gonna put it? No, no we're not gonna put it. We'll, we'll just like blank well, it out. Like, like he, a, he, you say it, but it's just like it's like a noise, and like we blur okay. out the. Which should we do like the duck one, like the wet? Oh yeah, I like that one. That's cool. Wait, wait. Yeah, there you go. Do you guys know the All right, you guys, quick break between the pod today to shout out to our big sponsors today. Our venue, actually, Blush Boutique, right here in Greeley, California. I'm telling you guys, man, anything, if you're a guy or a girl, anything boutique, anything fashion, they got you covered. If you're a guy, you need a last minute birthday gift, anniversary gift, they got you covered. And if you're a girl, I promise you, man, they always have the best fashions. And uh, let, them, let them know why, yeah. Look, my boy Taps here in Blush, man, he's been doing it really big for a long, long time. And uh, it's a staple here in the community. You got to come check them out. And uh, if you want to get a little extra discount, use the code right here, ACE. And uh, you know, we got you, baby. Back to the pot. Oh shit! I figured. Oh. Hey. He yeah he did. He actually asked me to go out like to dinner for <laughs> did him. You say, did you say yes? I'm scared. I feel like I that. actually went to one of his Fourth of July parties. Oh he shit! He invited me. Uh huh. And I went, but um. Did you meet him? Like, have you met him before? Or was that just like a cold? That side was in? my first time. So that was a cold side in. Yeah. Damn. That was my first time, and he he straight up invited me like come to like my one of my biggest parties. And I did, and after that, he would just text me all the time. But this is why he I was, music. I'm always so scared. Like, <laughs> yeah. I won't go. Because I feel like it's just kind of scary. Because, like, even though they're yes. like, you know, celebrities, you know, because you hear stories you about like, the like, fucking trafficking. You never know, like, they're big people, you know, like, they, they yeah. yes. Was there implications? There was, like, implications, you feel? Um, I never got any, but I'm pretty sure, you know. You're like, I'm not getting close enough, though. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't even <laughs> I get seen to those oh, ethical what, pictures. Has there been any, you know what? I would have never fucking guessed. Has yeah. there been any other ones? <laughs> Mm. Has there been ones that you've considered like, damn, okay, I might get. Uh, has anybody offered you to fly you out, like to like just just for the sake NBA of it? stars, NFL stars, anybody like that? Not them, <laughs> but other people for sure. Like, really? I remember one time my there was this like it was this Arab guy. Uh huh. He even like DM my mom, my what brother, the damn? telling them like I have this. <laughs> many jets like i have all this like i can give your daughter the world i was like Mija, get out. on that jet <laughs> i'll send you guys <laughs> a tiger like, if you, you don't want. go i'll go <laughs> <laughs> no yeah so i have, have i've had had people oh, whoa damn that's kind of yeah. crazy what what is that even well, fuck i mean he went to your the whole family did, did he, he give you like an amount though did he give you like a like a monthly stipend hey i'll give you this this so much amount of money no like he was wrote a huge paragraph of like how he felt about me and how, what he can do for me Damn and like, it was crazy. Have you ever talked to me before? Or it was just like first time. 
No, never. So you could have been a princess of like Arabia and shit, basically. Maybe. You said no. <laughs> Maybe. With the tiger in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> and their family gets a free tiger and shit. <laughs> a couple oil Dude. companies. You're fine. You're good. That's fucking, yeah. that's nuts. That's crazy. I feel like that's the big thing. The biggest difference between being a guy and being a girl, like, and especially in that space is like, I'm sure you got to get a lot of weird fucking. Yeah, but you know, it, you know what? It's scary. Like it, this world is scary now. Like you can just trust anyone. Like, you know? Yeah. You never know what happens. Like once you get on that plane, it's like that's when it really sinks in. You know, I don't yeah. feel like any amount of money is. I don't know. That's like. Yeah. A lot of sketchy people out in the world today. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I never go anywhere alone. Like, I'm I'm always you know wanting to bring someone with me. Yeah. Because I feel like you have to. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. You definitely have to. Yes. Yeah. I feel like it's harder to be a girl in French. Or do you feel like it's easier? It's hard. It's hard being a girl. You know, because I feel like guys nowadays there's you don't know their intentions. You know. Well, yeah, and what about? Let's 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 get in that a little bit. What about like dating? Like, what about the dating life uh, that you've experienced like on the spot? Like, because obviously you get a lot of people recognize you and, and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. obviously, like in your comment section, like, well, you know, you, you know your comment section. So how does? How, I mean, you don't have to say any names, but like, how has how have how have you kind of like maneuvered through relationships with that? Like, how are guys when it comes to that stuff? I feel like the guy that's gonna want me, you know, he's gonna want me for me. Um, they already see what I do, you know? Mm, that's true. So if a guy comes to me and tells me, like, oh, no, you, you can't be doing this, you can't be doing that, like, automatic Red flag. Like, cut off. Yeah. Um, I, I've honestly had, a, like, bad luck with dating because mm. I, I feel like me, personally, I, I love too much. Like, I'm a lover, you know? Um, and I get attached sometimes, like, mm. really, really bad. So, um I feel like the guys that I've dated, they, it has been like nothing serious. I feel like for me, it's been more like, you know, me, like more into them than them into me, you know? Uh. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like, um, yeah, I've just had a bad look. I haven't really found the one that's like, that's made me like, okay, this is the one. Do you feel like your profession affects that a little bit or do you feel like it's just normal dating? That's why. I feel like, yes, because I feel like, you know, um, a lot of guys nowadays are like not insecure but maybe you know social media has to do a big thing like Like intimidated almost by your following and like having to compete maybe or yes or like they think about like all the guys messaging you you like when a guy tells me like i'm sure you you get a lot of guys like messaging you or you know it's like (laughs) it's obvious you know you know but it's like i really don't if i don't if i'm not into you if or if i don't like you like i won't entertain you Mm. So it's like, you know, they don't have to worry about me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that's crazy because I feel like uh, also too like part of like part of the profession. You know, I feel like a lot of people oversee that stuff because, I yeah. mean, the average person, you know, they don't have to deal with that. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, when you're on the spotlight, like that's something that comes with. It. I know uh, la- last 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 episode we had Carmen and same thing. You know, she was the radio like a radio superstar here in the valley, and she was kind of saying the same thing. Where like the guys like it's kind of just comes down to like an insecurity type of thing. You know? Yeah, honestly, you know, and it's like. Um, you have to be careful too who you who you date. Sometimes they can just be using you or. Have you ever had that happen? Yeah. No, never. No. No. Have you Have you had anybody that you know, like in that influencer room, kind of have that happen to them? Uh, honestly, no. No. But I'm sure you know, like. But I feel like that somewhere. is something. That or sometimes people even just do it for the clout, like they just date to just for the post for the internet I've seen that. to post them, you know, and <laughs> like me, like I've seen that. <laughs> I, I won't they post you like, if it's guy. not serious. <laughs> 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 no, because well, my sister is the same thing too. Like her boyfriend, her ex was doing like the oh, same. That's right. Uh huh. Basically yeah. try to like ride it and you know. Well, so. he did. Remember? Like he, no, he, he did absolutely did. He got signed with Rock, Rocky Reich because I don't of think that. He did. I know he has like five hundred thousand on TikTok too, but it's that's kind of crazy. the same thing. But it's like so I see how that could kind of affect it too. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like it, that is what really makes it like harder to date somebody, or like would yeah. you rather date somebody that's also an influencer that or that also has like a similar level of like stature? No, you don't have to do be in the industry or anything you know like i feel like me i'm a very simple girl like um as long as you respect me you value me you you um you know you love me for me i feel like that's all that matters at the end of the day you know i don't care what you have i don't care what you can give me because i already give everything like to myself you know so Mm -hmm. it's like if you Mm -hmm. just give me the respect the love you know, like that's that all counts. that matters. Yeah. The, yeah, the little things, it's what literally matters the most. So the yeah. fame hasn't changed yeah. 
<laughs> keeping it G's, keeping it G's. That was really good. They're gonna have a bunch of guys in the DMs. Just they're gonna no, go back to this. No, it's true clip. though. It's like, I don't true. got a job or a car or anything, but hey, how, I, I would love you more you than like. anybody. <laughs> I'll respect the shit out of you. I mean, there's boundaries too, you know. <laughs> you have to have something going on. Yes, you have to at least you know be working or anything, you know. Yeah. On, on the topic of like DMs and stuff, so there's a guy at home and he's like. They like a certain girl online. If they never met her in person, like, what's the perfect DM they should be using? W- what are some tips for yeah. the slide in? Yeah, what are some exactly. tips for, for sliding? I feel like you in? just, you just gotta be yourself. You know, like, just be yourself. Don't try to be someone you're not. Just come off as as how you are. What's That's it separated though? Because like, obviously, if they just say like, "Hey, what's up?" Like, what what's the slide in to get them to open it, and then like also. Show who they really are too. Yeah, because you, you know what? I feel like girls always say that. Oh, you gotta be yourself, right? But then as a guy, if you if you slide in, you're like, oh hey, you know, I like the golf on Sunday. <laughs> red, like, <laughs> left yeah, on red. Okay. That's what happened. You Next know what? Try, buddy. I feel like for me, like I don't do the DMs thing. Like you have to catch me in person. Like, oh shit. I, I feel like I I I just have to feel your mm. your energy, the mm-hmm. connection. You know, because obviously off of DM, it's not really like it's really That's nothing. True. You know, it's like let me see how you are in person so what would an ideal date be for you then would you stay local go to la what would what would that be for you um anything you know i love to eat i love to do like a lot of like adventure things go to the beach um i love sunsets i love all of that um hiking obviously dinner i love going out to dinner and and get ready you know i love all of that movie dates i'm very simple girl driving the like, blueprint you don't she's really she's you don't really gotta blueprint. do too much no, I'm dropping the blueprint for you boys <laughs> giving it up for you guys <laughs> <laughs> that's funny that's cool what are some red flags like that, that you've good. had while you were like either talking to somebody or trying to talk to somebody or trying to get to know them what's like a red flag you're like ah peace. what's your biggest like red flag we're like ah dude or a couple I, name I, a couple I'm, name a couple mm, yeah i feel like when a guy tells you who to talk to who not to talk to what to wear what to do i feel like that's a huge red flag um that controlling vibe. controlling yeah controlling guy I, that's <laughs> I a you, huge Nate. red flag no, <laughs> <laughs> so you mainly get across guys that like kind of want to control you have you had you've dealt with that before that's what it sounds like yes. i feel like yeah i feel like yeah like often like how many times no i don't really date date like like, that. like no i don't got time come on now <laughs> i don't, I don't really, really date that. like that like no i've had it i've had it like once i feel like yeah and I was like, alright, peace. Yeah, I was like, I like, no, it's like scary. if, yeah, it's it's scary. You know, if you're gonna be with me, you're gonna be with me and support me. You know, help each other grow, that type of thing. You mm-hmm. know, I feel like you you shouldn't be telling your partner what not like to a, do. Yeah, like, that's not like not a prison. Follow their dreams. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Okay, mm. okay. Controlling, it's a red flag. So if you're controlling, controlling is a red flag, guy, <laughs> girls. <laughs> It's so, okay. So switching gears from like the whole obviously we talked a lot about dating. We dropped a lot of game, man. So if you're a guy watching this at home or a girl, man, and and you're you're looking for some free game, you can rewind rewind the past ten minutes and you got a lot of free game. But <laughs> a lot of free game, yeah, a lot of free game. But to switch gears, obviously you had a lot of success here in the Central Valley, um, and that's kind of where you grew up, you know. But mm-hmm. as far as future plans or any future plans to stay here, move to LA, um, what's next for Lupita and your future plans? You know, I feel like that's the goal. You know, that's the goal to move to LA. Um, I feel like if I get an opportunity, because LA is expensive, not gonna lie, but I feel like I, if I ever get that opportunity, you know, I'm I'm gonna take it, you know. Um, and I also I know this is, that was the question, but one of my biggest goals in life is to, you know, because um, I'm very attached to my family, so um, that's why that's another reason why like I haven't move to LA because like I'm so attached to my family my parents you know I eventually want to take them with me like um my dad he's been working in the fields his whole life you know um so I yes it's one of the hardest Real. jobs out here I personally worked at th- in the fields and I only lasted like two days I, I'm not even kidding so eventually like my biggest goal in life you know it's to retire my parents and take them with me you know um I see my dad come home from work and he's always so tired, you know, like, ah, I'm not making an emotion. Yeah. <laughs> he's always so tired. Oh, That's so cool. You can tell, like, how much your dad meets you, how much mm-hmm. your family meets you. That's so cool. No, you're good. <laughs> okay, okay. Let it out, let it out. Oh, you're good. It's, it's I promise you're good. Yeah, I think that's one of the coolest things, though, right? Like as far as 
like a lot of people see influencers as these people who don't have emotion, right? You're supposed to be perfect. You're supposed to have everything together. Maybe you come from like a perfect family, but I feel like it's the coolest thing that people at home, they probably had no idea that your family means that much to you. And, and Oh my God, yes. Um, I, I see my dad, you know, he comes from work so tired. Like he doesn't even want to do anything. He just comes home, he sleeps and he's stressing, you know, about the bills. And I'm just like, I want to help him, you know, like I want to help my family. And that's my ultimate goal, you know, just... Yeah just to help them and um, take care of them. You know, they already done so much for me my whole life. Like my dad since the beginning when I started YouTube, like he bought me my camera, yeah. he bought me my laptop. Like I I really want to help him. For sure. That's so real, especially too. Cause like, uh, I mean, you, they immigrated, you know? So like they left yes. everything behind. Like even yeah, like my honestly, mom, you know, if like it wasn't a, if, if it wasn't for my dad, like I wouldn't be here in the US. Mm -hmm. Like thanks to my dad, I was able to, to come here like legally. You know, mm -hmm. um, as a resident. So me and my family, like, we did not suffer at all. You know, like, un I know a lot of families, like, they have to cross, you know, or mm -hmm. pay for, you know, for them to bring them over here. But, like, thank God and thanks to my dad, I was able to come here. And that's a really. big deal because, I mean, you know, we, we all know people like that. Like you said, you know, they came in with the Coyote and they don't have yeah. the paper straight. And, like, you know, <laughs> they don't have a choice. You know, they have, to, they have to work the really hard stuff, like freaking packing houses, the fields. So... Um, that yes, is a big deal. Exactly. That is a really big deal that he was able to bring you guys, you know. Yeah, and I mean, my, my dad's getting older, you know, he's tired, and I see it. Like, I just, yeah. you know, I want to be able to help them. Yeah. That's what's cool, too, now, because I feel like five years ago, we talked about influencer and social media not being as big of a thing as a couple mm -hmm. years ago, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like now, fast forward a couple years later to, to today, it is a possibility. You see a lot of influencers <laughs> retiring their yes, parents and stuff. Yes, and I see it, and it just it motivates me, you know, it, it motivates me. Um, it's it's possible. It's very very possible. Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. I, I, I think you're gonna accomplish it. You know, I think you're on the right path. Yeah. Um, I think that one day you're gonna be able to hand your parents the keys, like oh keys God, to casa. That's yeah, so it obviously takes time. You know, like me, I've been doing social media what 2000 since 2019. Like, yeah. it's been years, and I feel like now it's like it's getting more serious mm -hmm. for it's me. It's starting to pay off a little yes. bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. but i never gave up <laughs> and i feel like that's so key because i feel like a lot of people i mean you figured 2019 you were really grinding around i was 2023 mm -hmm. and you said that just barely right now 2023 and the 2022 you got your big deal so yeah. um i feel like a lot of people are not even willing to grind it out for two or three years without seeing the yeah, results they give you know up I mean? you know yeah no. i was in the beginning as far as like when you didn't have brand deals like i mean was there ever a point where you wanted to quit and you're like hey i'm not getting paid for this like what, what no, should never. i do never because i never seen it as a job because i genuinely genuinely love doing that like i love 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 posting pictures i love taking pictures i love like i said i have the camera so in the beginning it didn't even feel like a job so i wouldn't even get cared to get paid we've had a lot of people on the podcast and i feel like one of the main themes the whole the whole name right is all aces because uh, it's like the ace of whatever industry so you're like the ace of the influencer industry right but mm -hmm. the craziest part is that every single industry that we went through i feel like every single person had one thing in common. It was just like they fell in love with the process. It was never like they started for the money, they started for the clout, the fame. Yes. It was always just like they really genuinely love what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's and that's me. That's awesome. And it's time to paying off, so that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are like some, um, obviously, I know that you said that, you know, you see people that are, you know, retiring their parents with social media and stuff like that. Who's somebody that you're like, damn, like who's somebody that you want to emulate or look up to in the in the space? I see it everywhere, you know, like for example, J.O.P. for when oh, he yeah. bought his parents his like their house um their cars and it's like you can tell you know he loves his parents as well and it's like he's doing it for them for his fam for his family and that's very um very inspiring to uh, like us Mexicans you know because he came he's Mexican too you know he mm -hmm. came from from the bottom so yeah I feel like that's he's a huge inspiration to not yeah. only but a lot of people yeah because I, I feel like uh, I feel like when you come from a family of immigrants, like the biggest like your biggest thing is like yeah. you see your parents like you said work fucking hard. And you're like yes. I see my mom come. She used to work the night shows at the packing houses. She gets home like at fucking eleven a.m. Just be it, dude. I'm like fuck, dude. Yes. Like you just wanna you wanna like you wanna take advantage of the opportunity because what I what I hate to see to be honest with you is like people that are parents are immigrants and they just fuck off their life. Like they just don't do shit. They go the wrong, the wrong route. And I'm like, dude, like you don't mm -hmm. realize like the opportunity you have because your parents were willing to sacrifice everything, leave everything behind, mm -hmm. come here, and then exactly. to give you a better life. And you're over here, you know, fucking around. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely feel like that one hit home. You're getting emotional about your dad yeah. because it's true. Like I've seen my mom, I'm like, fuck, man, I'm just, you wanna, you know, you wanna, you wanna do you for wanna them. You, help know? you wanna them. help them. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And it's like I, w I always get emotional when I talk about that topic because like 
he's my everything and yeah. like you know tell me <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna uh, you wanna you wanna ask the last question again in turn eight do you think you're good with that? No, I suck. No, we're gonna get we're gonna get back yeah, that. Captain me so much last pod yeah, too for that. Well, you, <laughs> he froze up. Apologize. Are we How did you forget? Apologize, it? You forget the moment, it? The moment was too big. Bro. Are the moment was too are you, big. Are you gonna apologize okay. or not? Apologize? I mean, I don't know. It's for picking it up, I was I was cool with it. Cool. I liked it. <laughs> All right, I got your back. I had your back. I had your yeah, back. back. That's cool. All right, so. Uh, yeah, here on the podcast, we always have like a signature question we like to end it off with. Um, and it's kind of like situational based, situational based question uh, where I want you to picture Lupita, like young Lupita, before you had any brand deals, um, really just before you knew how everything was really going to work out, right? Um, mm-hmm. What's some advice you would give younger self you back then on, you know, how to keep going and, and just really not to quit? Um, you know, I would tell younger me to keep going. You know, younger me would not believe everything I've done. She would be happy, and yeah, just to keep going, not give up. Last one as well. This is kind of like specific to this episode. Um, what's a message you would give to your parents that they're sitting at home watching this, um, just on like how much they've supported you, and just what's what's something you would say to them? Um, los, lo que yo les diría a mis papás es gracias por todo lo que hacen por mí. La verdad que su apoyo es lo más importante para mí. Es lo que me ha este hecho crecer. Así que. Muchísimas gracias, los amo y puro para adelante. <laughs> well, yeah, we, we appreciate you. I know you're uh, you're super busy with all your brand deals. You got a lot of stuff going on. And uh, you really are like a local celebrity. You're putting on for the valley. And that's mm-hmm. one of the key things as well. Like you inspire us as well to kind of keep going with our podcast because we're like, man, she made it out of the valley. All the stuff you're doing. Yes, um, keep going. You know, you, you guys, this is amazing. You know, I've seen your guys' videos and it, it's really good quality. You know, you guys have everything. You just keep going, you know. Sure, mm-hmm. we appreciate that. And we appreciate yeah. you coming on today. And uh, we appreciate everyone at home that's always showing so much love, watching, tuning in today. And uh, if people at home, after they watch this video, obviously there's a lot of motivation, a lot of game, uh, just a lot of stuff in general, right? Yes. Um, where can they find you if they want to connect with you more? So all my social socials are Lupita Sierra underscore 27, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Lupita Sierra. Um, yeah. Music video, photo shoots, brand deals. Yes, anything. We're open to anything here. There it is. Everything from A to Z. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, guys. Alrighty, We'll see you guys in the next pod.